If you don't know me, my name is Francesco and I've been traveling around the world for the last 10 years. I've been visiting the most beautiful places in the world and I've been also in the most remote place in the world. In this video I will be taking you along with me in this beautiful trip to Paris where I will be showing you the best places to visit, the most exquisite restaurants and the most cute cafe where to take Instagram picture and also enjoy some good coffee or croissant. The Arc de Triomphe d'Etolier, often known simply as the Arc de Triomphe, is one of the most famous monuments in Paris. Standing at the western end of the Champs-Élysées, it is a symbol of French national pride and honors those who fought and died for France in the French Revolutionary and Napoleonic Wars. So we actually stopped for a little brunch because we were hungry after traveling all morning and we found this very cute cafe called Kit. Keith is, I believe, like a French brand and they have an entire building where on the lower floor you will find a cafe and on the top floors you will find some cool like uh, small boutiques where you can shop whatever you like from shoes, any type of appeal basically, um, very cool. Um, the food is great but very expensive so my recommendation is like if you would like to try it, definitely worth it. But be careful, your wallet is gonna cry a lot. Well, we were lucky enough to have our hotel literally by the Champs Elysees, one of the most popular avenue here in uh, Paris, I'd say probably the most iconic one because the Champs-Élysées is actually basically the base of the Heart to Triomphe, uh, which we're going to see next. And Champs-Élysées is very popular also for one specific task and thing that you can do here, shopping. If you love shopping, this is the road that you need to visit. If you have a wife like my wife, this is the road where you have to bring your wife, but not your wallet because it is full of beautiful boutiques, uh, very high-end uh, shops, and you can find anything you want for your wardrobe. So we just arrived at La Galerie Lafayette, which is one of the most famous shopping malls here in Paris. And I'll show you why right now we are actually entering. It's insane. It's beautiful and the roof. I mean, make sure when you get in, you look at the roof because that's the most exquisite part about this, this mall. So this is our first night in Paris and we have just booked for this restaurant which is called Madonna Osteria. We're going to try um, a typical Italian dinner here and I'll take you in this culinary journey together. We just finished dinner, I'd say I was happy uh, mostly about the dinner the food was very good there's been some pros and some cons about uh, this place but definitely enjoyed the dinner and I highly recommend to visit this place if you are in Paris but right now it's night time here so we are heading back to the hotel to get some sleep and tomorrow we have a full itinerary planned already so let's see Ready Bonjour. for breakfast? Bonjour. Bonjour. Bonjour, it's mademoiselle. Not even 9 a.m. and we already took lots of pictures. So now we're at the cafe, which is this place, and it has lots of. What's the name of this place? Bo and me. Bo and me. Boulangerie. Bo and me. Boulangerie. Bo and me. Bo me.
breakfast is over. <laughs> this place, absolute shit. I would not recommend to come here at all because if you are Italian or if you know what is a croissant, you know, this is not a place where to eat a croissant. It's absolute shit, disgusting. Service was shit. Croissant was shit. The place was dirty as fuck and the stuff was rude as well. So, never come here. Where we are? We're at the Louvre Museum now. <laughs> the Louvre Museum, okay, yep. which is that one. And there's three hours of queue to get in. You need to book a ticket ahead, at least one month. You need to month. book at least a month or two in advance. So if you know you're coming here, make sure you book it because I didn't. And now we can't go in the museum, but at least we're here. Yeah, and you can see the line. It's basically like just going all around. So be ready to stand in the queue in order to visit the museum. And um, look at the Mona Lisa, Gioconda, we call it in Italian. Good morning from Paris. We are ready to get out the room. And today we did plan to visit few beautiful places, including the Eiffel Tower. And then we will see, we will see how it goes because the weather actually is not the best uh, in these days here in Paris. So we need to kind of adjust our plan um, comparing to the weather in this moment. Morning Sunshine, where are you? We are at Cafe Carrettes. Cafe what? Carrettes. Okay, and we are in line waiting for breakfast. Yes, there's a little bit of rain, but that's okay. And so guys, this is one of the best places uh, to have breakfast if you are planning to visit the Eiffel Tower, because just basically in front of me, I have the Eiffel Tower and the Trocadero, where you can take beautiful okay. picture, enjoy the view. Today it's raining, so it's not going to be the best, uh, but uh, we need the breakfast, so this is the best spot probably. So probably not the best day to visit the Eiffel Tower. We are in Trocadero Square and as you can see it's rainy and uh, the view is still like very beautiful and insane. Pity that there is literally like a construction site just in front of the Trocadero with as you can see a crane that is going on and off in front of the view. So probably it's not the best time to visit right now as there's still construction around this, uh, this square. If you want a better view of course you can get closer, you can literally cross the bridge um, can go like literally like beneath the tower uh, but that this is probably the best spot if you want to get the cool picture that you see everywhere on Instagram. The Eiffel Tower known in French as La Tour Eiffel stands as a symbol of France and one of the most recognizable structures in the world. It was built from 1887 to 1889 and since then has become a global icon of French culture, identity and ingenuity. This tower is made of iron and it's tall 1,063 feet. The Eiffel Tower is more than just an architectural feat. It is a symbol of modernity, innovation and the artistic flair of Paris. Good morning guys, our last day here in Paris. We are about to go on a little journey out the city to reach Disneyland Paris one of the most famous and exclusive theme park in the world, I'd say. But first, we have to get some breakfast. So we are now hunting for a place to get a nice croissant and coffee to start our day. So we are arrived at last station, which is basically the stop for Disneyland Paris! Yay! <laughs> so 
So here we are. We actually just entered the park. I mean, we passed the security check. Now we're gonna enter the park. Just a little bit of info for you guys. Uh, to get uh, in Disneyland Paris, you need to buy the ticket online and you need to do it in advance because you risk to not find a ticket. Tickets can start as cheap as $75, but can go up to literally like almost $200 if you basically purchase the priority pass and uh, in terms of like how to get to the Disneyland Park Paris it's very easy if you stay in central Paris you can get like basically a train which takes around 50 minutes to get here and it costs you only 5 euros each um, each way so basically 10 euros uh, now we are heading to the park and I'll show you around and uh, I hope you enjoy uh, this video from Paris and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Let's keep this adventure. So we are about to go on our first ride, which is one of the coolest one here in Disneyland Paris, but also be ready to do a list one hour queue in order to get on each of this ride so if you are coming here for one day i will highly recommend to get a priority pass so you can skip the queue and just do all the rides that you like and, and you know don't waste your time basically we are on our way to our second ride we're gonna try indiana jones which is one of my favorite rides because i've been here already guys so this is the second time that i'm visiting disneyland paris and the queue here is a little bit shorter because it's a faster ride but uh, this is probably one of the coolest one here in uh, in disneyland paris i think it's probably the main attraction let's say um, this ride actually includes also 360 so if you are scared of roller coaster maybe that's not for you but definitely the coolest one for me and now in one of the most famous rides here in Disneyland for kids it's a small world the sun will stay forever in your ears Well guys, as you can see, I'm back home and this trip has been a fantastic experience because I've been enjoying Paris uh, with a family but at the same time also exploring new places and I hope I inspired you to visit Paris as there's so many beautiful places there and also so many activities for you to enjoy your vacation. But I know before I close this video, please smash the subscribe button if you are not subscribed yet and make sure you leave a thumbs up below if you did enjoy this video and if you have any question the comment bar is below i will come back to you as soon as possible i'll see you at the next adventure